Okay, is it recording? All right, hold on. All right, aim it. You got to get our heads in and the school sign. All right. You have to extend the length of your arm slightly, like Plastic Man. How's that? <laughs> right there. Like this. Okay. Don't move. I'm not moving. You come in. Stay strong like statue. I am strong like statue. I pick things up and hold them up. All right. No, and put them down. Yeah. <laughs> this is Mr. Gruber. Mr. Bourbon. Mr. Ross. And we're here having fun with... Get out of here, man. <laughs> Come on. Here we're having fun with Doppler Effect. Wish you were here. Get out of here, Tyson. <laughs> okay, so here we are. Uh, this is the bottom part of every set. Let's do it right in there. the car. Okay, let me go get in the car so you can see the temperature. Okay, get in the car. Okay. Right, temperature in the car is... The temperature in the car. Okay. Temperature, temperature in, the car, in the car is 43, 43 degrees. Okay. 43 degrees what? 43 degrees in East Chester. It's mostly sunny today. What? what, what 43 what? Bananas? 43... Degrees Fahrenheit. 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 It'd be really freaking hot if it were 43 degrees. All right. <laughs> Spell Fahrenheit. Okay. All right, let's go. Hey, Zach, we got you. All right, we are now recording. Okay, so. Right. I'm losing you. Starting trial number one. Zero. Th Zero mile per hour. Let me set it now you realize this is the only speed I will let you drive my car. Obviously. <laughs> okay. Whenever you're ready, hit that because horn. You know that I will not break the law. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. <laughs> okay. Hit that horn. That's some good stuff. I'm good at honking the horn. <laughs> Are you ready to go? You're so good at honking the horn. Thank you, Mr. Berman. How about that? How about that? <laughs> I'm videoing Mr. Mr. Ross, videoing the Doppler effect. <laughs> Mr. Gruber is good at using the sidewalk. Look at him. Pause. Pause. Look at his tires. He's so good at resting on it. At least he has a small car that won't get in the way. Here we go. Here we go. We are we now go. live. Mr. Mr. Gruber, Here what speed go. are we? Go for it. Okay, I'm at 30. Hold on. What I'm at speed are we now. traveling at? 30 now. Here we go. I'm at 30. Here goes the horn. 30. I was at 30, I was at 35, but I was at a constant speed. Constant speed of 35 miles per hour. We are inside the, the car. That was, reporting to the video, a constant speed of 35 miles per hour. Pause for a moment and discuss two changes in physical quantities that you noticed during the approach and as it transitioned to the recession. You know, Bourbon brings up a good point. There are two physical quantities that you observe changing for the car as it approaches. You probably heard the amplitude change and the frequency change, but the Doppler effect, is it amplitude, frequency, or both? Well, it turns out the Doppler effect is only looking at the frequency change, not the amplitude change. The amplitude change happens to be the Doofenshmirtz effect, which is not something we talk about in Regents physics. That's something we talk about in AP physics, but not here, right? If I could give you an analogy, let's talk about taking a shower, right? If you take a shower, you take a shower for what reason? Pause. Exactly. You take a shower to get clean. But don't you also get wet while you're getting clean? Pause. Exactly, of course you do. But the shower is about the clean part, not the wet part. You don't take a shower to get wet, you take a shower to get clean. That's the same thing with the Doppler effect. In the Doppler effect, you do have both an amplitude and frequency change, but it's the frequency change you care about. The frequency change is getting clean. Oh, look at this fast driver. 
All right. Pause the video and discuss again what two physical characteristics appeared to change as we transitioned from coming to going. Was this consistent with what you found before? Were there any differences? Does this make you happy? Well, what just happened there? What change in physical quantities did you notice this time? Was it the same as the last two times? Or three times, let's not forget our first trial over here in this nice grassy spot. Hmm, that, that was the car, because Mr. Gruber wouldn't do this. The car accelerated from zero to 50 miles per hour from the light down yonder up to about this location. Hey Vito, if anybody calls, we're doing a Doppler effect. Oh, sorry, Vito. Hold, 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 hold one second, Cal. If anybody calls, we're doing a Doppler effect video. That's why you keep hearing the horn going up and down the road. Uh, we're not breaking the law. We are not breaking the law. Okay. okay, we're now going to be approaching Mr. Burbit at a constant speed. Oh, let's say hello to the police. Hey, sir. Hey, uh, dang, <clears throat> herbs, come on. We are now going to be approaching Mr. Burbit at constant speed, and Mr. Burbit is going to be the one who is going to be blasting the horn, and we are now going to be the observer. So now we have a moving observer and a stationary source. So will the Doppler effect work the same way as it did with a moving source and a stationary observer? Let's check it out. Uh-oh. Got your high beams on. <laughs> Mr. Gruber got pulled over. What's, your, what's he going to be charged with? Driving while Dopplering. DWD. <laughs> okay, all windows closed except that one. Good. All right, here we go. Here okay. we go. All right, last try. I got to make right. sure nobody's coming. <laughs> I'm usually good at recording on the fourth try. I got a damn red light. All right, here we go. Hold on. I have oh. a red light. Oh, wait, yeah, nobody's coming. Hold on. Are you breaking the law? Right. You're not breaking Here the law. Go. Breaking the law. You're right. funny thing. Everyone talks about Doppler effect when it comes to tonal frequency, like what note an instrument is playing or what note the horn is playing. But there's also a tempo frequency. So if Doppler effect changes the tonal frequency of an instrument, it should also affect the tempo frequency of a song. So we're going to check that out now. Let's go. So wait, what's going to happen to the tempo frequency as we approach? Class? No, I'm not asking you again. Wait. <laughs> I mean class, right, not you. Yeah, I'm now recording. Awesome. Well, hello. <laughs> I'm the pipe master. I'm good at smacking pipes together and creating sound. You are very good at that, Mr. What Burger. temple you. were you doing? Show the temple you were doing, actually. Do you remember? What song were you singing as you were doing it? I was singing along, thinking, the wheels on the bus go round and With the pipes. Round, Where the pipes? Round, pause. Hello. For those of you who may not have noticed the difference between the actual frequency the horn is making and the apparent frequency you were hearing at the different speeds, we're going to play those now for you in succession. Oh, look at this fast driver. Okay, this is crazy. They're gonna run towards each other. No, high pitch noise. Perfect. Hold on, let me see if I can hear it. I like that. Come on, my battery's dying. That's a good one. That's a good noise. Ready? Make the noise first. No, steady noise. <laughs> Take a deep breath. I 
got to see. All for science. All for science, baby. You gotta do it again. Again? I think it worked. Let me hear it. I think it worked. Let's hear it. Okay, now we're gonna do leaf blower Doppler effect. Go. go, Mr. Gruber. Go. go, leaf blower. Do it. I heard it. Here comes Harry and the Hendersons. I think I heard it. Did you hear it? Did you hear it? <laughs> now that was the Doppler effect.